Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we meet uh, behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College at the Life Cathedral, but we meet in the Zoe Chapel, that is a section of the cathedral. So make a date with us on Sundays in the mornings, and then make a date with us on Wednesdays in the evenings for our midweek service. This morning, I'd like to capture my, my thoughts with uh, factors of grace. My mind goes to Genesis chapter 6, uh, the story of a man called Noah. Now, and especially, um, even though it's Genesis chapter 6, my mind is hitting on Genesis chapter 6 verse 9 and then onwards. Now, you remember that in those days the Bible said God regretted, God regretted creating humanity because the sins of of, of humanity was too much. I mean, you, you find God regretting, regretting, but not in the dimension that, the, like he regretted he had made man. I mean, we were, we, 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 we were just, I mean, humanity was at its lowest, um, and humanity was at the peak of its rebellion. I mean, uh, all sorts of things were going on, and God was really, really, really frustrated with his creation, the apex of his creation, that is humanity. And everybody was doing something wrong. I mean, the level of debauchery, the level of licentiousness, the level of hedonism, and the level of, I mean, secular humanism, that is a godless society. And God said, I regret. Now, that, but there's something that happened. There was one man, one man, his name was Noah. And the Bible said he, he, he wasn't partaking in anything they were doing. That is... I mean, what was going on, he wasn't part of it. One man managed to escape. I mean, the, 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 all the things that were going on. Listen, we are products of our environment. We are products of our genes. We are products of our experiences. And we are products of, of, of the grace of God. But the Bible said, this man, Noah, everybody was, was misbehaving. Everybody was just, it was a, 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 an era of great profligacy. It was an era of, of great debauchery. It was an era where, I mean, God said, ah, I, I just want to wipe away the whole earth. I, I just want to wipe away all humanity. And then out comes the, this man, out comes this man who won't do what they were doing. He won't, he won't eat the, uh, the bread of sin. He, he won't participate in it. And he was, and I said, wow, I mean, how? This, I mean, that's my must. And, and, and the Bible said something that even knocked me off my, uh, out of my socks. He said, and Noah walked perfect before God. And Noah walked perfect before God. Walking in a world like that, in perfection, hey, please don't ask me whether I'm perfect. Don't, don't even go there. <laughs> you get it? I mean, hey, Noah walked perfect before God. And I began to scratch my head. I said, man, that man must have really, really, really tried until I read this. Before Noah was described as walking perfect before God, see what the Bible said about Noah. And Noah found grace in the sight of God and Noah walked perfect before God. So first of all, Noah found grace. Noah found grace. That means Noah was supplied grace that means Noah was supplied grace from above. Grace to rise up above sin. Grace to rise up above the present situation in which he found himself. The environment, the circumstances. Grace to lift him up above sin. So the reason for Noah's perfection was grace. So it was grace that separated Noah from every other thing else. Then as I read the story later on, you remember after the flood, he was the only person and his children were the people saved. But after the flood, 
The Bible said he got drunk and he didn't know where his pants were lying. He got drunk and was lying, stuck naked. And that's where the capture comes in. This is where it hits home. Noah was perfect because of grace. But the day grace was not abundant for him. The day grace was not sufficient for him. The day that he didn't have that supply of grace, his humanity showed up. His nature came up. He got drunk. So you know what? The first Akpeteshi distillery, the first Akpeteshi distillery, Agogo distillery, the first one, Noah, perfect man, the first. So I came to a sudden realization. The reason why I am not doing what you are doing, or the reason why you are not doing, the, or you are not committing the same mistakes I might be committing, is not because you are perfect. It is because of grace. The reason why you are not doing what somebody else is doing, which is wrong, which causes an uproar, which raises public opprobrium, which raises all those things against that person, is not because you are perfect, but it's because of grace. And the day grace doesn't abound for you, you will do what the person is doing and probably do worse. So that judgmental attitude of yours, that critical attitude of yours, remember that you have not walked a mile in the person's shoes. You don't know what's going on. And therefore, don't be quick to judge and don't be quick to criticize and don't be quick to condemn. The reason why you are not doing what that person is doing is not because of your strength, inner strength, or because of your perfection, or because of your ability, your own power by your own might. No, it's because grace abounds for you. So grace is the factor that separates you from what somebody else is doing. Please, don't, please, don't judge the person or don't condemn the person. Because if you were given the same situation, the same scenario, the same everything without grace, I can promise you, you will do worse. I will do worse. So the reason why I am not doing it is not because I'm a perfect, not because of my discipline, but because grace abounds for me. You know what? The factor is grace. The grace factor. Don't throw it away. And extend grace to others you see. Look at them differently and say to yourself, grace did not abound for them. See you later.